what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the best wide receivers currently in Mutt 25 at every single budget. A lot of times when I'm live streaming over on Twitch and even on Twitter, people will reach out and say, Pop, I got 300,000 coins, I need a wide receiver. Who do I pick up? That's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. Talk about wide receivers at every single price point. And for the rest of October and into November, we'll be covering other positional groups. So be on the lookout for additional videos. Now, we always start this series out with the best free option and the best free wide receiver without a doubt is actually a card that's not out yet, but it's going to be out in a couple days. You got to play through the head-to-head -head ranked mode, and as you can see from this screenshot, you only got three days, 23 hours, and 27 minutes from the moment that I'm making this video to go out and earn Jalen Hyatt. There are several different versions of him from an 82 to an 84 to an 86, 88, and then finally an 89 overall. And this is all going to be dependent on where you finish the rank session number two at. If you can get to the hero level, which you're going to have to start playing right now all the way up until the end of it, this is the card that you can have. Six foot tall, 92 speed, 91 jumping, 87 catch, short route running at 89, mid at 90, deep route running at 92. He will get Slot Apprentice for 2 AP, which is a great ability to have right now when you're running into a lot of the man coverage meta blitzes that are taking place. You're going to get that short crossing route. You're going to get the zig route, which is extremely good against man coverage now that it's not a stock out route. And he's got 92 speed, but not only that, he gets all 32 team chems. So if you rock a theme team and any theme team, you're going to be able to get this card up to 93 speed. I think he's going to be the best wide receiver in the game for the most part because he's going to be free and he's definitely going to be the fastest out there. Now, if you either run out of time or you're just simply not good enough to get to that hero level, at bare minimum, I try to get to the elite level in rank because that's going to land you the 88 overall version of Jalen Hyatt. Now, he doesn't get all 32 team chems, but to get a wide receiver who gets stock 90 speed, there's just not a lot of them out there right now. And he does have good route running and catching. Catch 87, short route running 88, mid 89, deep 91. For a card that I don't think is incredibly difficult to earn, this is a really good free one. If they would have gave him all 32 team cams, it would have made him that much better. But the elite level version is certainly worth going after if you're not going to be, be able to make it to hero in the ranked game mode. Now moving on to our best wide receiver under 50,000 coins, we got most feared and Eagles legend, Quez Watkins, you can find this card for right around 30,000 coins. Listen, at this price point, you're just not going to find a lot of speed on the field. He's up there as one of the fastest wide receivers under 100,000 coins with the 87 speed. And his route running's pretty balanced with the 87 catching. Gives you 84 short route running, 83 mid, 85 deep. Obviously, if you can get him on an Eagles or a Steelers team team and bump him up to 80, 88 speed, that's going to be pretty good as well. But for 50,000 coins, and in his case, actually only 30,000 coins, you can't really expect much. And like I said, there's not a lot of really good budget-friendly wide receivers out there. The next closest one is going to be this Darius Slayton Team of the Week card, and he's our best option under 150,000 coins. He actually goes for about 132k on average. The good news is you can actually get this card for free. I'll talk about it in a moment here, but he's six foot one, 89 speed, 86 short route running, 84 mid, 89 deep. Only 82 catch, so you're not getting a ton. I would really recommend if you want this card to not go out and buy it, but actually just make sure you're playing through your team of the week solos. You're mostly playing those because you can earn team of the year tokens for a free team of the year card down the road, but these team of the week tokens can be traded in for hero level cards in the team of the week promo and if you exchange five of them in for the 87 overall bnd fantasy pack that slayton card will be in there for 89 speed to get him for five tokens is a pretty easy and quick pickup for all you no money spent players we now jump up to the best wide receiver under 200,000 coins and we're actually cheating a little bit here it's going to be legend herman moore but on average according to mutt.gg He's right around 209,000 coins. I featured this card in my video over the weekend, which we do each and every Saturday on really good budget pickups, and he's definitely one of them. Now, only 88 speed. I say only because we have a bunch of guys with 89 and a few with 90 speed right now, and, you know... It was a little disappointing that they only gave him 88 speed, but I rock him on a theme team so we can get him up to 89. He is six foot four, 88 catching, 87 short route running, 88 mid, 89 deep. I don't think he's your prototypical slot receiver, but he does get slot apprentice 
for 2 AP if you want to take advantage of the Ziggrout. I had him there for a little while and I used that ability on him for a little while until I got a different receiver that we're going to talk about in this video towards the end of it and then we were able to move him on the outside but he's played very very well for me with the height the speed good route running and good catching I think for that price he's actually worth picking up if you really need a wide receiver moving on up we got two options for our best wide receivers under 250k and again we are going to cheat a little bit here so we have redux Xavier worthy this card came out you know a month and a half ago almost now at this point and at that time he had 89 speed He's still pretty viable right now with the 89 speed, only 5 foot 11, and he goes on average for about 255k, but the 89 speed with 87 catching, 89 catching traffic is pretty good. Short, mid, and deep route running all at 88. Basically at this point, you're either looking for 85 plus in the route running, it's really 85 to 89. That's going to be one threshold, so if you find receivers at this price point with the 85 to 89 on all three, that's going to be good. Outside of that, you're really looking for a guy that has 90 plus on all three of those, and there's not too many of those. So this guy gives you the speed. He's not really tall, but good route running, good catching. And then we're going to take a step back in speed, but we got Gridiron Guardians, Chris Alave, 88 speed on this card, six foot tall, 89 catch, 88 catch in traffic. He gives you 89 short and deep route running with 88 mid. Again, even though he has the plus one on short and deep there, he's not really going to run routes that much better than the Xavier Worthy car, but I do like him as an alternative, and he's a little bit cheaper. He's down to 221,000 coins, and he's a little bit taller than Xavier Worthy as well, but this card surprisingly played really, really well for me. So those are your best options under 250k. We have another Gridiron Guardians card, this time Scary Terry McLaurin with an 89 overall and this is going to be one of two best options under 300,000 coins we give him the nod over Alave because he does have the 89 speed there he is also six foot tall goes for about 271k but he's going to give you 90 catching 88 catching traffic and again the route runnings aren't really going to behave that much differently 89 short and deep 88 mid but I would say I use both of these cards for a very long time it just felt like the Terry McLaurin card played a little bit better than Alave. So if you're looking at either of these because you want a little bit more height over the Xavier Worthy, I would go with the scary Terry McLaurin. And then if you want more speed for that same price point, you have Redux, Cheetah, Tyreek Hill. This is the vintage LTD that was an LTD. Now it's a Redux card. 5 foot 10, but he gives you the 90 speed. He's down to 263,000 coins. The one thing that I would say, you know, you get the 90 speed with him, but that mid route running is only 83. He does give you 90 deep route running, 88 short. If you're looking for a guy who's just going to straight up be a burner and run go routes all the time, this is your guy. But if you're more of a short to medium route passing type offense, you might want to stay away from this car because of the 83 mid route running. That's just really low on an 88 overall card. Uh, but those are going to be your best two options under 300,000 coins. We got one card that's our best option under 400k. Now, if you go ahead and go to the fear store and use your fear on that either non BND or BND 90 overall most fear champion pack, we put out a video a couple days ago on your best options from that pack. He was definitely in my top three very good cards, six foot tall, 90 stock speed. 90 catching and then the short and the mid route running are at that 90 plus threshold and the deep route running is at 88 so i think he's a little bit better than every single card that we talked about you can get him for about 386k he also will get slot apprentice for 2 ap i have him on my no money spent squad we put that ability on him haven't played a ton of games with him just yet but he made a few plays for me in the little time that i've had him so far and as this card continues to drop down in price i think he ends up uh, being one of the better budget receivers in the game but even at 386k if you don't use your fear currency on the pack to use him i still think he's worth the price now let's talk about the best wide receiver in the game and it's not going to be Tavon austin yes i know he has 91 speed but guess what that card is 1.1 million coins it's not going to be most feared ltd aj brown 90 speed he's 1.9 million coins and guess what it's also not going to be team builder DK Metcalf, who has 90 speed and get all 32 team chems because he is also 1.9 million coins. 
The best receiver in the game is Team of the Week, Brian Thomas Jr. This card has exceeded my expectations. I actually can't believe how good he is. Six foot three, 91 speed, 88 catching, short route running at 89, mid 88, deep route running at 91. But he just gives you that combination. I mean, he's one of the fastest receivers in the game, and he gives you the height at 6'3. The route running is great, but he just makes catches that I just haven't seen many other cards make. Like, I'm talking catches in traffic. He hangs on to things. Obviously, he's really fast and he's really tall, but this card is a game changer. And since day one, and he hasn't even been out a full week yet, but since day one that I've had him, he's done nothing but make plays. He is starting to creep down in price a little bit. We got Randy Moss coming out later today, who's only going to have 89 speed. So I don't even know if he makes any of these, you know, budget lists for the best receivers in the game. Uh, because it's Randy Moss, he might actually bring the price down on this card. And even Jaguar, Jaguar's steam team is kind of up right now. They've gotten some good cards over the last week or so. But all in all, for 500, 2,000, coins and try to look to build out the team of the week set for brian thomas you might be able to get him cheaper he's the total package in the game and he gives you the production on the field as well and there you have it those are the best wide receivers in the game right now at every single budget if there's anybody i left off the list anybody that i snubbed let me know down below in the comment section who should we have included thank you guys for tuning in to another video my name is popular stranger i'm out peace